Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today's valued viewer requests come from Anonymous because he doesn't want to give us his name because he's given us some secretive information. What we've got here is a few years ago, a British Airways A380, the big one, the one that's bigger than the jumbo jet, was sent supersonic in a cruise, not in a dive, in a cruise, accidentally, obviously. I'm wondering if you can do the same at level flight, so not in a dive, with the AV-8B or something similar, subsonic plane. I was aware there is no information online, but take my word, it happened. This would definitely be uh, need to have a, this is important, because we've been arguing about this on the stream. This would definitely need to have a sudden massive wind shear pushing this subsonic, and we'll come, supersonic, sorry, and we'll come back to that. Once again, this did happen, and the aircraft was stripped and fully checked after this, inside information, obviously. If it is possible, what are the air, slowest aircrafts with a realistic amount of wind shear that could push Mach 1. How is overspeed modeled in DCS and if you can overspeed a subsonic plane? So we suddenly thought, great, this is awesome. Uh, let's go and put a rear wind on and see how fast we can get a jet. But we've got to suddenly think, what does supersonic mean? We can have supersonic local to the airflow and that is what we're going to call true, true supersonic. And then we can have super effective supersonic over the land. And that's going to be a different thing. So let's say we had an airplane traveling at Mach 1 relative to the airflow. But the airflow was traveling over the ground because the wind in this case was traveling at Mach 1. I know it's impossible. But just for this example, the wind was traveling at Mach 1, 670 knots or whatever it is, above ground in 29.92 inches mercury. And the aircraft was flying at zero knots compared to the wind flow then it will be going at zero knots and not supersonic compared to the wind flow but it will be going effectively Mach 1 above the ground. So what we're going to be looking at is the true supersonic which is in relation to the wind flow. So what we can't do is put a 2000 knot wind, uh, rear wind on and have the plane fly at 100 knots and then get essentially 2100 knots above the ground which will be Mach 5 or whatever because that would be cheating. What we're going to do is get supersonic in relation to the airflow. And there's only one way we can find with doing that. And this is my little idea here. So we've got a wind going this way. And we'll exaggerate it up to 100 knots of a jet stream maximum. And we've got a wind shear kind of face here and an opposite wind coming to here this way. And this is my understanding, presumably, of what happened in the A380. And this wind was coming this way at 100 knots, let's say. Then the A380 was traveling along here at, say, 400 knots, 300 knots, IAS, whatever. Uh, relative to its altitude as well, bearing in mind. And it hit that shear there and came into this wind condition here. It was still going essentially as fast over the ground as it is here until it slows down to meet this wind. But temporarily, before it does slow down, it's gained 200 knots of essentially IAS and has made it supersonic. That's my understanding of how this aircraft could have gone supersonic with a sudden wind shear change in local wind flow. Now, in DCS, we can't do that. We, there's no way of simulating wind shear. You can change the wind direction and speed over different altitudes, but it interpolates. There's no shear face like we kind of need here. We can have cyclones and stuff, but again, it's fully interpolated. There's no kind of cliff face like this. So we can't do supersonic in level flight relative to wind flow. Ergo, we cannot simulate this in DCS, annoyingly. So we're going to do the next best thing, which is not what the mystery man asked, but it's, I thought it would be interesting anyway. Which subsonic aircraft can we get supersonic relative to airflow in a dive? Now, there's more subsonic planes in DCS than I gave it credit for. I thought there's going to be about five, but it turns out, on reflection, there's millions that we've got. The A10C, the AV-8B, the BF-109 Kurfurst, the C-101CC, the CE-2, the F-86F, the Fokker Wolf, and we've just taken the Dora, the I-16, the L-39, the MiG-15, the P-47, the P-51, the Spitfire, and the SU-25, and the AK-52. Of the variants, of the ones with sub-variants, we've just chosen the variant that we think stands the best chance of going supersonic. So none of these are supersonic aircraft can we get any of them supersonic we're going to run through and do a prediction on each one and then we'll run through and test each one a10c no agreed rc it's going to take a long time agreed. if you don't answer right thank you av8b yes i think we can go supersonic yeah yes all warbirds no <sighs> i'm aware some could in real I life but they rarely survived i don't know I don't think so. No, so no. C101? No. Straight wings, no. C2, obviously no. F86? I reckon so. What do you think? Yes. 
Okay, yes. Uh, L39, what do you think? Straight wings? No. No? MiG-15, yes, I reckon. I'll test yes. that. 25, it's got a slight, it's got a bit of a wing sweep, hasn't it? It's a tough one, that is. I don't know, that one. I'm going for yes. I'm going to say no. Okay, I'm going, okay we're, going, we're going yes, no on that one. Uh, and uh, the 52, yak, no. Right, no. so we're going to start testing. You jump in an A10C, I'll jump in an AVAB. We'll just work our way down. In fact, we'll swap for the next one so you can have your stupid hairdryer. Tell me when you're ready to go. Now, the way we're going to measure this valued view is most of these aircraft are not going to have Mach meters in them. And because Mach is dynamic, it is based on pressure and temperature then you can't really figure it out by miles per hour because the altitude is going to be changing. So the best way we can think of doing it is let DCS do it for us. We'll have a kind of external view like this from the front. And when in DCS you go local supersonic, the sound disappears. And that's when we're going to answer. answer. So you'll be watching your plane from the front is the best way. Are you happy with that, RC? Yeah, what do you think is the best way to do this? Just a I think this is going to try. Just going to try it by trial and error. I'm going to unpause now. Like a dive? Yeah, oh, like straight down. Straight dive. down, RC. Yeah, full power. Straight down. I do actually have Mac here. I've got a Mac meter, but most of these won't have Mac. Charge, super cap. And I am, wait for it, I am. It's shaking, it's shaking. I'm supersonic. Easy as that. Boom. Right. Oh, and I blew up. It blew to pieces, RC. Did I you? didn't know. I thought they've added in damage model for it. I wonder how fast I got. Um, oh, sorry, pause. I oh, just, hey. Yep, I didn't mean to do that. Sweet, my track has given up, so I can't right. even see. Oh, no control of my plane right now. Yes, you have. <laughs> Damn. It's because it, the, it, the, the, the the surfaces don't work this fast. Is it going to go supersonic, RC? Oh, oh, no. It won't go over 500 on no, the speedometer. It, it wouldn't. I got to 500. It won't go supersonic. I was watching that and nowhere near. No. And you lost control because simply a lot of these aircraft. Yeah. Um, and I'm sorry, I forget the terms. I haven't rehearsed any of this, but with the uh, Mac, with the high speed buffeting of the air over the surfaces, a lot of those controls won't work. Ailerons won't work. Elevators right. don't work. Right. You need you need proper designed aircraft for supersonic. So a lot of what we're going to find here is we go in a dive and we can't pull out. In fact, almost all of them will be the same. The surfaces aren't designed for supersonic airflow uh, or high high level airflow right anyway that was a good start rc if you take the hair dryer i'll take the 109 because it's one of my favorite mw50 i reckon i'll probably disintegrate okay right you'll have to keep your eye on your own speed because i'm doing mine now oh, i've stalled the bloody engine there we go and i've oversped the prop <laughs> Oh, nice. Well, I've overspared. I couldn't pull out if I wanted to. Oh, it's buffeting. I've no oh, control. I've no control oh, of the plane. No control of the plane. <laughs> I'm at weight 82. No control. No, no supersonic. And no supersonic. Right. You know what we've got, RC? Nope. A 100% hit rate so far. Uh, you're in well, the... Well, you got the uh, Harrier supersonic. I did. No, but I mean, I mean 100%. Uh, it, we guessed it right. You're in a Christian Eagle. Have fun with that, by the way. I'm in the F-86. <laughs> oh, this ain't gonna do mm. anything. Full power! You'll get supersonic at that. hope so. I'll also lose control. Again, I'll have no elevator control. I'll have no aileron control. Right. Mm, I do have Where's a Mac meter, meter in this thing. Where's my Mac meter? Am I being a douche? I don't see a Mac meter. Oh, I'm supersonic already. Supersonic already. Done it. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can break the plane now. Oh, oh, oh. No control of the plane. No control of the plane. Boom. Supersonic, yes. Did we guess yes? Oh, have fun with 300 knots, RC. Yeah, we guessed yes. It's just so draggy, that thing. 325 knots. Bam. Right. Um, you're in the I-16. I'm in the Dora. The Dora is a yeah, fast plane. Just... Yeah, good luck with that. The Dora is actually a fast plane. It's not curve first fast. Man, it's got a very powerful engine. This thing's going to fall apart before it even gets near. I need, I need uh, MW-50 on. There we go. Now we've got the power, boys. Rammstein. 
Oh, they knocked me to here, I see. Oh man, it's overspeeding. Oh, oh. I'm shaking. The oh. engine is not having a good time oh. right now. Such a good plane. Oh. Oh, the plane's falling to pieces. Ah, I've got no control again. 111 knots. 111. My, all my uh, control services just detached themselves and I couldn't get above 500. But that was actually fast. Let's have a look at you. Oh, no. Right. Okay. We were agreed on that and everything's good. Next is you're in the you L39. You're in the L39. I'm in the MiG 15. Ooh, one of my favorite in here. Great all time play. MiG 15 biz. Go and buy it if you don't have it. And watch this. Look at that gun. Why wouldn't you want that gun? And I go. Do we have a Mac meter? Probably not. No. I'm actually surprised there isn't a. Because Mac is very important to a plane like this. Oh, she's shaking. Oh, she's not coming supersonic. Oh, I just fell apart. Oh, I've got my speed brakes out. What the heck? Oh, I couldn't get supersonic in the MiG, even though it's faster. It's 0.3 Mach faster than the Sabre. I'm going to have to try that again. Something wasn't right there. Now, I don't yeah, know anything about it. The main problem, if you're asking, why don't you go vertically down, Cap? Well, we don't really have any control of these planes once they get to a certain speed, so they just do their own thing. All right, let's try again. I'm going to try and get some speed up first. I'm already pretty fast. All right. Yeah, I'm not going any faster. Down I go. This thing has automatic speed brakes. Oh, it does. You can't do it, I'll say. Train a plane. Yeah. Can you turn them off? Oh, I just lost control services. <laughs> I can't get a MiG-15 supersonic. Wow. Okay. That's not too Well, there's a turn up for the books. MiG-15 can't do it. Maybe if we flew up to like, its maximum something it might be able to. But generally speaking, I'm trying to keep it a fair test. That is interesting. Uh, what was your result, RC? Yeah, I thought it could do it, but... Okay, interesting. Right, uh, I am in a Jug, you're in a Mustang. Roger, I reckon, as well. Oh, what the hell happened there? Well, it was loaded in. Now this thing is notoriously fast, I've seen the dive, remember. Okay, I'm at uh, 500. I'm at 500. And I've got control, which I don't, oh shit. No and no. Okay, no. we're not getting a war bird uh, supersonic today, it would be cool. Right. That's close, though. Roger, you can go for the SU-25. In fact, you go for the Spit. I want to go to the SU-25 because it's the last chance of getting supersonic. And it's a bit better if it was Whatever. on camera. Yeah, just just get on with it. So just do your job. Just do what I pay you for. Let's just go. <laughs> right. I'm going to make sure this one works. I'll see. So I'm going to go flares, out, gun. Oh, spit. Come on, baby. You got girlfriend in Vietnam? I think you might have. Ooh. Oh, oh, last off me. Oh, should be close. Come on, no. give me a bit of off sick. Yeah, I got supersonic. Got I got no supersonic. Woo. I just went in a circle because I have no control. <laughs> I was right. I'm blacked out. That was so friggin' awesome. Yay! That makes Cap happy. Yes. Okay, and I'm guessing your sp No, there's no way your spit is going supersonic, <laughs> so I'm gonna go in the yak. It would. SRC, yes, can I help you at all? But I don't know if I've got the yak installed anymore. There we go. What you need it is some flying skill. Can you get some flight? Wow. You can't even hit the ground, RC. Oh, sweet, you're coming in my plane with me. 
Yeah. That's just brilliant. No, you're not taking control. Supercat gets control of this, give baby. It heavy. We yes, do need to make it heavier. Because as we know about Galileo, you know what Galileo says. Oh, shit, where's the gun button? This is a good plane. It's a shame it's hopeless and useless. Uh, pull up. Uh, we lost all our... Yes, I'll see. Can I help you at all? Oh, how embarrassing for you. I'll send a rosemary to your <laughs> beloved ones. Right, there you have valued viewers. So the ones that went supersonic were Harrier, as we thought we would have, F-86F, as we thought we would have, the F MiG-15, we couldn't. Now, we think we probably could that if we took it out to the absolute maximum uh, height. We probably could get supersonic. However, just to keep things empirical, if you know what I mean, everyone's starting at the same altitude, then um, we couldn't. Uh, Frogfoot managed it i'm chuffed with that not a humpback just a normal frog foot and that's it that was jolly good fun wasn't it rc it was fun any comments or any comments concerns you want to add to that nope okay thanks and see you later